was something organic, something created by Mother Nature. It's that zest that you go, no, she must flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that zest what's good y'all mini weather back again with another tutorial i want to switch it up this time and give y'all a different type of look different type of feel i don't see a lot of these type of cuts on youtube um so what we have here is gonna be a a, a mullet crop top with a highball taper or a light taper um so what i'm doing now is i'm establishing that first guideline and going up an inch Right now I have the clippers all the way open and I'm moving them halfway and I'm going right below that section and I'm fading, I'm, I'm getting it blurry, I'm looking for lines, I'm looking for dark spots, any anything that needs to come out of there, I'm taking it out with, uh, with these clippers. And I'm just, the same thing that I did on the top, I'm gonna do on the bottom when I'm trying to fade out a beard. Making sure that it's halfway. Right here, I switched to my masters just because it's a it's a quick switch, man. Uh, I don't have to use the half guard, and really, I don't have to use the the number one guard with the babyliss, just because I'm switching to these clippers right here all the way open. So I know that about halfway close on the masters is the same thing as my babyliss all the way open. So I'm fading down to about halfway, and now I have the number two guard, and I'm going up about an, another inch but i'm not following the shape of the head as you can see i'm just going straight up and creating a new panel making sure that panel is nice and clean and even before i start to take it out and the same thing i'll do to the top i'm going to do to the bottom on the beard and just laying it down smoothing it out making sure that he's nice and clean debulking the area so i can get him right so right here this is my number one on the double magnetic uh, and this, what are they, the nano guard. My favorite guards, man. Uh, and I'm just, I'm cleaning it up. I'm, I open it up, I close it, and I'm just doing a little lever play and I'm, I'm hitting those corners. And after that, I'm gonna switch to the zero guard right here, the purple zero, and doing the same thing. Dropped it down below that to fade in from the no guard to the, uh, to that one area and whatever I do to the top I do to the sides fading him on in so right here is just a little clip over comb work as you can see I'm just taking it out slowly but surely I'm, I'm being cautious I'm not gonna lie I could have taken more of that out so it took me a little longer but right here I'm just connecting that fading it out you know removing any dark spots with my my mizzatani thinning shears and detail work you know detail work is what sets you apart from a, a good haircut to a great haircut or a good barber to a great barber you want to make sure that you're looking at your work objectively that you're not just impressed with it but that you are looking as if it's somebody else's work and you want to detail look for any imperfections look make sure that every line is, is straight or every curve is curved correctly no hairs are hanging over spend that extra time getting it until you can do it quicker you know learn to detail your work that's what's going to set you apart in this industry so right here i'm working on that c cup i'm not going to take it all the way around into the beard with the clip with the trimmers because i'm going to go straight in with the razor so it might look like a ball taper, but it's really not. It's light. Uh, I, I close my clippers all the way up. So right here, I'm hitting this beard, getting them nice and clean. Then I'll go straight in with my straight razor. I advise that you practice this if you're gonna do it because it does. It can pull at the hair, but I've been doing it so long, man. I just, I've mastered it to where it doesn't bother them. It doesn't irritate the skin and you know if you're not used to doing it i advise that you still use you know get your tune 45 shave gel you know what i'm saying but right here i'm just knocking off the the excess uh skin or the excess hair that's falling down making sure that i'm creating a strong defined line 
And you look at that beard, it's coming together. That curve is nice. And as most time you put a line on something, man, things are gonna pop out, little imperfections. So it's back to the clippers and detail work. So right here, as you can see, he has a little gap under his chin where his hair doesn't grow. So we go right above that to the strongest point. But I don't comb the hair down, brush the hair down under his chin because it's gonna cut off the length. Right there, I'm cleaning up the hair on his cheeks and up under his eye. And yes, it is a mullet, but I'm still going to trim it and have it nice and cleaned around the edges, making sure that if he, for some reason his hair is to the side, you'll see that it's clean all the way around. I don't just comb the hair down and, and neglect this area. I want him to be 100% crispy. And same thing we did on the, on the other side, we're gonna do it to this side. I've already went in with the babyless on this side. So I cut it just for purpose of uh, saving some time and came straight in with the masters all the way open and closing that lever down and just blending that area out. So the number two guard, the same as before. The number one thing when it comes to haircutting is making sure that your hair is haircut is consistent on both sides that it is uh that it's leveled on both sides you don't want him to have look like he has two different tapers or two different barbers worked on his head so i make sure that what i've done on one side i do to the other side that's why it's important to develop a system to where you always know where you're at that you always know what comes next and what you used before if you develop that system you're going to cut down on your time and your haircuts are going to be more consistent same thing, clipper over comb. So we're looking to make, to create a balanced haircut. It's like Beam says, uh, haircutting is an illusion. So it might not be as perfect as we would like, but you wanna make sure that from the naked eye, somebody's looking straight ahead at them, that everything is the same. It's an illusion. That's bars, Beam. That's bars, bro. Shout out to the team, 245, man. But right here, we're just detailing it out, cleaning up over the ear. You don't want it to look like the taper just stopped right there. These are things that'll set you apart from the, the next barber who doesn't want to take that extra step, doesn't want to go that extra mile into perfecting their hair, haircut or perfecting their craft. And I'm just, I'm just hitting it, looking at those dark spots, trying to get them taken out. So right here, hit the other side of the C cup, back side of the beard, the same exact way that I did over there, I'm doing it over here. Every step is always the same. We're looking for balance, we're looking for sharpness, and we're looking for the best haircut that you can possibly produce. Going in straight with that razor, brushing off any excess hair, same thing, it don't change. Hitting that C cup just right, stretching that skin. I see a lot of you guys uh, just going in with the razor one-handed while you're holding your phones, man, stretch that skin. It's a reason they taught us like that in school. You wanna protect your clients. And we creating that line on under the beard. And you can see what I'm talking about. When I lift up the hair right here, just to make sure that you see that I'm not cutting into that line. I'll brush it down a little bit, but not a whole lot. I don't want to take the length from the from his chin here. And just getting him nice and sharp, looking at him from the front, making sure that he's nice and clean. My boy was tired, so as you see, he's nodding a little bit, but hey, what do barbers do, man? We improvise, so I'll put that hand up there, hold his head. And we're going to get him right, even though he's asleep, man. This is what we do. We train for it. It's a daily daily battle, man. You don't know how your customer going to come in there, but you want to make sure that you're giving them the best experience, the best haircut, and the best service that you can provide. So right here, I slowed it down so I can show you guys exactly how I pin the hair up with the comb. I lay these hairs down, and I come through with my hitters. Shout out to Babilis. Check them out, man slicing through that hair butter these joints is hitters 
we making sure that we detailing, man. Hitting that corner of the blade as we go around the ear, combing the hair down. See, nodding off again. As I edged it up, I could see that slight imperfection or a shadow over his ear. So I'll take my, my blending scissors and, and I'll just start to hit that spot until it comes out. Once again, this is the difference between a good haircut and a great haircut. Even with him nodding off, he's still gonna be ice water. <laughs> so same thing in the back, I'll pin it up with my comb and I'm going straight across. Same thing, it don't change. The system don't change. So right here, what I like to do is thin this area out, this fringe or bang area, whatever you like to call it. And by doing so, I just lift the hair up to 90 degree angle and I go straight across and I'm gonna connect the sides, as the sides to the front as well. So what I'm doing is layering, it's layering it. And when I hit it with the trimmers, it's just gonna go through pretty easily too. And it, it just adds to the haircut. And you'll see once I'm completed, with the uh, blow drying that, and I add the product, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Cause this hair is gonna be able to just sit up there, just stack up. Connecting the sides. Make sure you guys are saturating the hair. The hair should definitely be wet all the way through before you start to trim. This is what's gonna give you your control. So I create my first section it's only gonna be three sections on the top because he's leaving his hair long in the back, but I pull it all the way up and I cut straight across. That's my guideline. I wait till my guide drops out of the comb and I'll cut some more. So right here, you'll see me comb straight across, but what I'm doing is going to the next section as well as pulling the hair from the previously cut section and that becomes my traveling guideline. As you'll see, I look for it right there and I cut. And do the same thing again. Pull it up, guide leaves the comb, and I cut. And here's the last section that I'm gonna cut because we've already previously cut the front or cut the, the fringe when I using clipper over comb. So I don't want to take any more hair out of that, that area. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm connecting the sides with the top. I know I said it's a crop, and the crop tops usually have that heavy ridge along the side but i didn't want that for this particular haircut i wanted this to blend in just like any other uh, typical haircut so right there i'm connecting everything and i got my dyson and i'm just blasting the haircut a lot of times what i'll do is i'll dry the hair to about 70 percent complete and then i'll apply some product and finish the rest but just for the sake of this video, I know he's going home after this. He's just getting off work. He's not going anywhere. So I didn't want to apply any other product other than the texturizing powder or volumizing powder at the end. So I'm just blow drying it into the desired style and look that he's going to have, that he's going to be wearing. So I'm blowing that all back and blowing everything else front to the fore, front, uh, excuse me, to the front. And uh, so right here, we're getting ready to, uh, edge up the, the fringe, seeing the little imperfection right there and cleaned it up. So this is not where his actual edge is. They are bangs, it's hanging over. So I'm just edging in there. I'm not actually taking his edge up back for those who are concerned about that almost half an inch that came off the front. And I'm just working that edge up, man, getting them nice and sharp, nice and clean. It's the details, it's the small things that set it apart, guys. So right here, this is the Tomb 45 volumizing, texturizing powder, and you just look how that front just sits up. Look how the hair is able to stand up because of the powder. Man, it's a wonderful product, great product. Tomb45.com, man, go get yours. I think it's about maybe 16 bucks. It might be even less. It's been a while since I ordered some. It lasts a long time. A little goes a long way. So I'm just styling him up to the way that I want it to look and I'm gonna edge it up. I see a little bit hanging over and just that detail. So here we go, that's the cut, man. Here's the before, check the after out. Hey, my boy is icy, ice water. 
I appreciate you guys for watching, for sticking around to the end of this video. For more content like this, please like and subscribe, share with a friend. And man, you guys keep coming through and watching and supporting the channel, man. God bless. And leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this cut.